Wranglers Extra. Welcome back. We're at Red Wilson Field. It's time for the Manager's Show, sixth and final regular season meeting between the Anglers and the YD Red Sox. This guy looks gloomy, Coach. Has meteorologist John Schiffner taken a look? <laughs> yeah, the, ro the radar doesn't look any better either, but it, uh, who knows? You, you never know. It can blow out of here at any point or, or it could come down and dump a lot. So uh, can I just take a moment and just... Uh, I'd like everyone to take a moment uh, when you get a chance. Uh, a dear friend of the Cape Cod League and me, uh, the Harvard baseball coach, Joe Walsh, passed away late last night. And uh, that takes a lot of wind out of my sails. Joe is a good guy. And uh, those of you who know baseball, uh, especially the Northeast baseball, Joe is a, a fixture around here. And if uh, in your own special ways, could you remember Joe and his family at this time? What did Joe mean to you? Joe was just a great guy. I mean, I, I first met Joe in the late 70s at the Ted Williams baseball camp when we were both counselors there, and uh, we, we, we had a good time. Joe, Joe knew how to have a good time and laugh, and uh, good baseball guy, just an old-fashioned baseball guy, and, uh, you know, coached against him for a number of years down here. He was a part of some of those really, really good Wareham teams that Don Reed was the head coach. Joe was his pitching coach. So, uh, you know, I've known Joe a very, very long time, and... Uh, it's got to be rough on his wife, and he has five girls. Uh, pretty tough. I mean, he's only a year older than I am, and uh, that's way too early to go. And uh, yeah, I just feel terrible about it. And I wish all would all would take you know take a moment for Joe. We'll be sure to do that. We'll be sure to mention Joe, and it's something that you know definitely means a lot, especially. He's a big fan of the Cape Cod League, and uh, we we utilized Joe in a lot of ways. A number of his players were very, very good players and deserved to be here. But he was also very generous with his players, his temporary players, and they knew the they knew what to they knew the expectations, they knew the drill. Joe instructed them, and, and you know he was a great friend to a lot of us. This league certainly brings about a number of great people and a number of great stories, and it almost makes when talking about last night's game just seem almost insignificant. Yeah. It is, it is. But uh, I know one thing: we will get choked up. Joe would have loved to have been there because that was a real good baseball game. I'm sorry, uh, it was a great game. Uh, you know, I wish we came out on top or even got a point out of it, but it was still fun to be a part of that game. Uh, just great defense, great pitching. You know, uh, there wasn't a lot of hitting. Each team had six, seven hits, whatever it was. And uh, but that's a that was a Cape Cod League baseball game right there. And hats off to Katuit for you know being able to scratch that run across. Yeah, almost felt like an older uh, Cape League baseball game, especially with all the hitting this year. We kind of got back right. to the low scoring and great pitching. Well, that's it's playoff time. You know, it's 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 nut, nut crunching time, as they say. And uh, you know, uh, Katua wants to finish first place. They want to get that home field advantage throughout the playoffs. You know, we're trying to get ourselves into a playoff position. So, you know, that 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 was a great Cape Cod League baseball game uh, for the fans, of course. You talked at the beginning of the season to your team about how great the atmosphere is during the playoffs. Have you revisited that as the season's coming to an end? Yeah, I mentioned it to the guys how, you know, it's special. But I had a talk with them last night, and I told them, no matter what happens, whether we make it or not, it's it's the experience they've had here with each other, with us, with the town of Chatham, with their host families. That's, what you, that's in the end, what it's all about. And oh, I'll be upset we don't make the playoffs. I think these guys deserve to make the playoffs because of the effort they've put in and the adversity that they've gone through to get to this point but uh, I, I told him I says you know if you don't make it we're not gonna you know have bad things to say about you guys you've worked your tails off and there's been so many games where we were just so close and just didn't come up you know the the coin didn't the coin didn't fall in our direction and, and uh, you know we won't we won't look at it as, as though it was an unsuccessful season it's already been a successful season um, like last night, just got a wonderful note from Brian McElhaney's family thanking us for the opportunity we gave Brian. That means a lot, you know, that means a lot that we've touched someone in his family that way. And uh, the hats off to the Donahue family for being his host family, for the coaches who worked with him, and for the Chatham Athletic Association, and all the people who made it a worthwhile experience. And the same thing with Chad Pender, another wonderful text message from his dad about the, his experience. You know, that, that means more than wins and losses to me. It, it means that these kids did have the summer of their life and uh, you know I'm pleased like I said I, I hope we can make the playoffs for a lot of reasons but I think in the end it's been successful we've had a great time with these kids I think they've had a great time with us they've learned a lot they, they learned a lot about themselves about the game of baseball and about life and that's you know it's so important to me 
I'm sure, though, because of how much you've enjoyed spending time with them, you wouldn't mind a few extra games in the postseason. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, it would be fun. It would be a lot of fun because, like I said, it is special. And I was, I was telling them last night, you know, it, it's not about me. You know, I've been to nine championship games, four championship pennants, four championships, uh, a bunch of playoffs. I don't know how many times, you know, I've been able to make it to the playoffs. And, you know, it's not about me. I've experienced it, but I want them to experience it. I know what it's like. I have those memories, but I want them to have those memories. As we go down the home stretch, we'll see if this team can experience those memories. Thanks a lot for the time, Coach. My pleasure, Brandon. Thank you. The Anglers take on YD Game 38 of the 2012 season. Back to you, Chris, as the Anglers Extra pregame show rolls on.